All right, I don't really know how to start this video. There's a lot going on here. I mean, yeah, they're already chipping, but they look nice. I'm happy with them. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because the other day I had to go and check out some things in storage. I had to put away a 100 foot ethernet cable. Don't ask why I have that and a couple of other things. And while I was there, I saw the fursuit bin for Maverick and I'm like, oh yeah. I forgot you existed. So I pulled him out, I took a picture of him, and I posted it to Twitter. And within 24 hours, not even, the post had over a thousand likes, and very many comments from people talking about their experiences with Maverick, or how much they miss them, or their thoughts and opinions on the character. So that got me thinking, like, I have sort of talked about what happened to Maverick in the past, like, few years. I've done, like, stream highlight videos, but I've never properly sat down and discussed what happened. And now that I've taken a lot of time to reflect on it, like, about a year or two, and I'm not feeling as jaded towards Maverick than I used to be, I feel like it's a good time for me to just talk about it. So all this started, I believe, in late 2021 going into early 2022, so about two years ago. When furry conventions started happening after the pandemic, I was getting more into the flow of being just my own person, separate from my character. I know that's weird to say, but you gotta remember that a lot of what I did on YouTube for a long period of time were these character still style videos with Maverick in them where I talked about furry things and people saw me as just Maverick. But the one thing I was starting to step out of was being represented by Maverick and more doing like my own thing as like my face, my person. And that's what I was really trying to push for instead of just the uwu cute character still videos. And this was all throughout like 2020 going into 2021. And then when furry conventions started happening again, I still brought my fursuit and fursuited around as Maverick. But I'm going to be honest, I felt like I didn't associate with him as much as I used to. Because keep in mind as well, I had Levi at the time, who wasn't a secret persona. I had announced he was my Sona and my character to explore more things in furry, help my self-confidence. I mean, look at him now. He's a fursuit after like a year from that point. And even though I didn't have Levi as a fursuit, I was feeling a lot more in touch with that character representing me on the furry side compared to Maverick. The more I was growing up, maturing, aging, becoming more of my own person, I was feeling more in touch with Levi, but I was also feeling a lot more dissociated from Maverick, and I think that was because of how I designed Maverick in the first place. You know, he served this purpose of trying to push for more self-confidence, like make friends, find a friend group, become more like in touch with furry in terms of a community. And that's what Maverick sort of served that purpose, and inadvertently he ended up becoming a very oo cutesy character. And that's more of what I wanted at the time. You know, he's completely safe for work, he's representative in some sense of Beta A to Deloda because I did the character still videos with him and people kind of associated by proxy. And I felt like whenever I was making a video as him, or even fursuiting as him years later, it felt a lot more cutesy and innocent and aloof. Like he did the whole ah thing. Like I, I, I don't know if I could do that now, to be honest. It just doesn't. People are like, beta, do the Maverick. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. But that just doesn't feel right. Ah, that, just, that, that doesn't feel right for me. I'm sorry. But I feel like after I had really found my own within Furry, come like 2021 going into 2022, I feel like I didn't really connect with Maverick. Now, realistically, I could have just like redesigned his personality. I could have been more of my own in how I feel like the persona could have represented me then and there. But there was also a bit of pressure from the standard that I feel like I set with Maverick towards everyone that sort of viewed him as this character. He was cutesy and adorable, and people viewed him that by proxy. Like, when I say that some furries really loved Maverick, I do mean they really loved Maverick. So getting into 2021, when conventions were starting again, I'll be honest, the behavior that some people had towards my character, parasocial relationships are a thing, but I didn't know parasocial relationships could be a thing with regards to someone's fursona. Example, some of the comments that I was starting to receive because I wasn't fursuiting as much as Maverick at conventions. Some conventions I didn't even bring Maverick down, right? Some of the comments that I got were like, Beta, I miss Maverick. Please bring Maverick back. He's my friend. Oh, Maverick hasn't forgotten about you. He still loves you. I'm like, that... See, that is, that's, that's weird. I'm sorry, but that is really weird to me. He's being personified as a separate character from what I do. I don't know how I feel about that. I even got some comments of like, for people that don't want to watch the video, Maverick isn't in this video, so you don't need to watch this video. Like, it, it's so weird. It got a bit obsessive and very concerning. And so I didn't really know what to do about it. Like, realistically, I can't control that either. That's just something people are going to do. They're going to like a character so much to that extent. 
extent that they they only will pay attention to that with regards to what I do. So realistically, you can't control that. But like at the time, not only was I feeling dissociated from the character because I just didn't feel like I was the character, I was feeling dissociated because he felt more like the people's persona, if that makes sense. I'll say it, I retaliated a bit more and I really despised Maverick for some time because I just did not want to be associated with the character that had this sort of effect whenever I talked about him, whenever I mentioned him. And that's why for some time, I more or less put him away. So come like 2022, after all these cons that I went to at the end of 2021, I was ready to just make this big change and move away from Maverick. I wanted Levi to represent me because I felt like I had more control over the character because he was evolving and changing with me. I wasn't in a very temporary point in my life when I made Levi. I like, I knew I was growing and becoming more confident and social and more of my own person. Eventually, I just put away Maverick. That's why I got the whole story storage bin for him and I put him in like a storage unit and he's been there for a while. Now keep in mind, I just want to say I'm not misplacing him as a fursuit. I love the fursuit. It, like comparing it to the character design, it's it's really good. Like look at the ref sheet and then look at the fursuit. That's a really good fursuit for like how detailed and how accurate it is to the ref sheet. So obviously, you know, even if I might not care about Maverick, I'm not going to like misplace the fursuit that I have of him. That would be ludicrous. So I did put him in like like a vacuum sealed bag in storage. Even the picture that I took a few days ago of him, that's how he looked like when he went into the storage unit. He hasn't changed a bit. The whites still look good. The colors still look good. He looks fine and he smells fine too. I made sure to clean him before I, I threw him in there. Obviously he didn't say anything because you know, I didn't want an uproar to happen, but that's probably gonna happen after I said this. So oopsies. Before the remainder of like the next two years, 2022 and 2023, I really didn't pay much mind to Maverick. I was like, you know what? Levi's my character. He, he's sort of what I'm going to represent myself as with regards to furry and with what I'm doing on YouTube on my main channel. I'm just going to keep doing these face cam videos because this is what I want to put out there. Me and my person to stand on its own with regards to content and let that be the main voice of what I do. And that's why I'm here now talking about Maverick like three years later. Because after a bit of reflecting, I will say I was a little bit of an and not a little bit. I was an asshole with how I treated the whole situation with people treating Maverick where I was retaliatory, but I, I just was very jaded towards comments like that. I got really upset, more upset than I really needed to be about people saying they miss Maverick, which, hey, you know, valid. If you like a character, you know, you like a character. But today I see comments like that as like, you know, that's valid. You know, like I had this character that I did all these videos with that represented who I was at the time. And even though I might have moved on from him, even if I've dissociated from him and I have a whole new set of characters that I relate more and more with, the feelings are there. Maverick was pretty cool. And so I understand the sentiment of missing the character, you know, missing those videos. I don't want people to not love the character. You can like a character however you like. Again, I can't control that. But I didn't want it to an unhealthy extent where it became the only thing people wanted to see from me. And that's what it felt like for some time. And so moving away from him and putting him away allowed me to sort of grow in my own sense. So now we're here years later where honestly, I feel more confident without any sort of character on here. I don't even need this fursuit or, or these plushies in the back. I could just sit here with a blank screen in the back, just me and talk about a video. And I know that that stands on its own with regards to content or entertainment entertainment, whatever you may have it. So now that we've talked about Maverick and what happened to him, what's going to happen now? Because it's been a few years and I've been able to give some thoughts onto what I want to do with them. I've even put out some YouTube shorts asking you guys what I should do for his new outfit. Because I am moving away from the life jacket thing on here. I want him to be sort of representative of something else. People thought he looked naked without his life jacket on. So I asked, hey, what are some other outfits that I could add for him that are very fitting with his design? And I will say you guys gave me a lot of very good comments on that. I got to give the outfits a bit more thought because mainly I'm looking to redesign the character entirely. Not even joking. I want to redesign Maverick into my own character and fit more with what I really have wanted to do with him. It was like he was originally a robot dragon hybrid thing and I wanted to keep the whole dragon aesthetic when I made him a, a fluffy fursona character but I wanted him to be fluffy. But I was like oh I'm gonna get shit from people if I have just a dragon and he's fluffy. Not even joking that's the thought process I had back then and I probably would would have been very right back then. But we are currently in the year of our Lord 2024, and there are so many goddamn fluffy dragons out there, and I want to be one of them. So one of the big things that I want to do with Maverick is redesign him so that he's a dragon. But in terms of character design, that's all I really have. 
I'm not really good at this sort of thing either. It's still up in the air as to what I'm going to be doing with him, but I'm down to leaving things open to how things feel more natural in the future. Maybe Maverick I might associate more and more with soon to be. I don't know. But that's kind of just the fun thing about it. Not setting any plans and, and seeing what we can do to potentially bring back Maverick to be more of my own character and a character we can all be happy with in the end. But either way, that's pretty much the story of what happened with Maverick. As summarized as it could possibly get. And as much as I can really remember, to be honest, because this did happen like multiple years ago. But that's about going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for vibing. I appreciate the support. You all are wonderful. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, that's that's about it. Take care. Bye.